Hey guys, welcome back to another Barbie video. This is Jazz Hands. Today is a very special day. We're going to be doing a truly vintage fashion, all vintage, everything's vintage, and it's complete, I believe. I don't see the hanky, maybe it's inside something else. But we're going to be doing Evening Splendor, a very popular outfit that I personally did not see the appeal for until I saw it in my hand. It's actually a very gorgeous outfit. Let's start by reading out the thing. Evening Splendor without doll number 961. The glamour coat is golden metallic brocade with fur cuffs, completely satin lined. A strapless sheath of the same exciting brocade has zipper back closing, velvet bags, slippers, and short white gloves, pearl necklace and earrings. The ensemble, $4. So, came with a lot of stuff. It's a very golden outfit, obviously. Uh, I've already put on her necklace and these two gloves because they are very finicky and something I don't really like to mess with on video. We're going to actually put in her actual earrings that came with it, which I am personally kind of against doing because they do cause green air, but I figure if we put it in just for a few minutes, just for a video, it shouldn't be the end of the world. So we'll put those in. That's one. And then we'll put the other one in. They corrode over time, they rust and oxidize, and then the ears turn green, and nobody wants green ears on Barbie. Oh, well, yeah, they're in. It's going to take off her bathing suit. Start with the dress, I and mean, we don't need her shoes either. I might, I'm kind of against putting the shoes on too, because I don't want this uh, reproduction doll to crack them, but I might try it anyway and see what happens, because I can always get another set someday. <laughs> I mean, who knows when this does have a zipper on the dress which is always very popular everybody likes zippers because you never get them anymore now it's all you know velcro and not very high quality these original ones though super high quality and pretty that is a very nice looking dress barbie yeah i just thought well who, who cares that dress doesn't seem that great but really that is very pretty that is the golden girl outfit without the gloves or the necklace which when you read golden girl on here goes without doll number 911 sheath dress with slippers white gloves velvet purse and pearl necklace and bracelet only set two dollars wow it came with quite a bit i don't see the bracelet but uh there's that portion of it. Let's go ahead and put her jacket on, which is made of the same exciting fabric. Yeah, it is quite glitzy, isn't it? Yep. Put that up front. And it is fully lined, which is pretty nice. I love that little detail in vintage clothing. They just look like if you shrunk yourself down, you could probably put the outfit on and be comfortable walking around in it. So we got a Japan shoe, an original. Let's see if we can put it on without any incident. Uh, she does not want to wear it, and I am not going to force it on. But know that it comes with two little brown shoes. Kind of put those up here where they're visible at least, so you know that hey, yeah, it is a completish set. Well, without those, we can put her on the stand. Mm, very nice Barbie. Very nice looking so far. She's got a little fur headband, which goes right here. And this one does have all its pearls on it, which is gorgeous. It is very difficult to find with all the pearls. And then finally, she had a little aqua purse, which does not seem to have a handkerchief in it. Uh, the outfit does come with a handkerchief, but I don't see it in my packaging that I got from eBay, so I'm going to have to message the seller and ask them, hey, what happened to the handkerchief? But otherwise, imagine it's in the purse since I didn't see it in there. That is actually beautiful. They did a reproduction of this uh, in the early 2000s or late 90s, and it's all right. I mean, that, I, I actually had that reproduction. It's probably one of the reasons why I didn't think too much of this particular ensemble. Because uh, the gold was very pale, and the flowers that show up on it, they, uh, they don't look that great. But uh, on this, this looks really nice. I like how her hair is kind of currently positioned and looking really pretty. Get a close-up of her. Yes, Barbie, all ready to go to the movie. Or the cinema. 
1959. I don't think those are base, but that's all right. Aqua purse. That is that is gorgeous fabric. It feels very sturdy too. So uh, this outfit, the dress itself, like if you want to get the dress and the coat, they're fairly easy to get because it does hold up very well. But yeah, look at that. She she is very pretty. I guess I could sit her down. Put your feet right on the table and relax a bit, doll. <laughs> kind of vary it up a little bit in here. Get a whole picture there. And the earrings are staying put, which I like too. They're a little, they have a little like uh, bend in them though, so it's kind of odd. Yep, that's that's it. That's Evening Splendor and Golden Girl. I hope you enjoyed checking her out with me. This is a very, very popular outfit, and it was released for several years. I think up to three or four years. 1959, 60, 61, 62, and then it went away for a year, and then it came back again. So you should be able to find it pretty easy. They also did another version of it. Um, I forget the exact name of it, but it comes out in a red color, and that one is gorgeous too. And one day I'll have to get that one. But uh, for now... That is very pretty, and I recommend getting it. Anyway, this is Jazz Hands, and I hope to see you for my next video.